The SVT-40 is a semi-automatic rifle designed by the Soviet Union in the 1940s, and it was used mostly by special forces in World War II. However, this weapon is still in active service today on the front lines of Escape from Tarkov, and boy has this weapon caused a ruckus in the Tarkov community. In this video, we will be exploring all the pros and cons of this weapon and how it affects the power curve in Tarkov as a whole. When you unlock the SVT, you have a semi-auto gun that pens every armor available at your rank as it uses LPS GZH rounds. These rounds come with 81 damage and 42 pen, almost enough pen to break the seal of a Minimade juice box. When you're at this stage of the game, there is no armor you can buy with the flea market included that will stop around from this weapon. You'll have to wait until you unlock loyalty level three traders when you get access to class five armor. However, this is only really half true at level 20 when you get access to mechanic level two. Then you could build the workbench level two and get access to craft the S and B round, a round so powerful that no armor in the game will stop it. As this round has a pen value of 62 and a damage value of 75. You gain access Access to the SNB craft before loyalty level 3 traders, meaning you have a gun that can pierce any armor in the game relatively early in the game's wipe cycle. As for downsides, you cannot put a suppressor on this weapon, meaning whenever you do fire it, people will know where you are. And the only scope or sight you can put it on it is the PU scope at three and a half times magnification. So it can get a little disorienting to use a scope in close range. Although I will say the point fire on this weapon has felt pretty good. So do not be afraid to use this weapon in a close range encounter. When it comes to recoil, here is the SVT being compared to a stock M4 and the best M4 you can build with loyalty level two traders. What I immediately noticed is that the stock M4 and the SVT perform mostly the same with a slight edge going to the modded M4. However, when you take a look at the prices, the modded M4 almost costs three times the price of the fully modded SVT. And this is where the overpowered argument starts to come in. The price combined with how early you get access to this gun in the game it feels quite strong and in the last, I don't know, week or so of raids I've played, there's probably been an SVT in about 90% of them, whether it's on someone I've killed, whether I hear it around me, or whether I get killed by one of these things myself. It's just that a lot of the other equipment you get access to in the early game, it just doesn't quite feel as effective as the SVT is. The SMGs are good and have low recoil, but the ammo due to travel speed and, you know, pen attributes leaves it to be mostly used in close range. They're not that effective at far range. The assault rifles, on the other hand, you'll have to deal with things like crazy recoil, especially in the early game when you can't afford to build them, and the ammo just isn't as good. I would say the next best bullet for the assault rifles is the M856A1 for the M4 with 37 pen and 54 damage. Now this is a solid round and holds up decently well against LPS GZH. However, once you get access to workbench level two and start making SNB, it doesn't even come close as the SNB round ignores all armor in the game. To go even further, the next best bullet you can craft with the workbench level two is the 366 APM round with 42 pen and 90 damage. A good amount of damage, but the pen is still far off from the power of the SMB round. Though as we start getting into the later game of Tarkov, this is where the SVT will probably fall off a bit because eventually you'll hit a point where you have all the money you could want. You could build out the assault rifles to get very low recoil builds, especially with the meta weapons like the Mutant or the M4. And you'll also be getting to much better ammo like M995 for 556 calibers and BP for 76239. Both of these ammos do a great job at cutting people down unless the target has tier six armor, in which case you might have to land just a few shots. Now I will also say there are technically better bullets than these for their respective calibers, but they are so rarely found and used that I'm not really considering them for balance purposes. A good example of one of these rounds is MAI AP 476239 coming in with 58 pen and 46 damage. However, good luck finding these rounds in raid as they are find in raid only. Another fact I think we need to consider here is the newer player 
errors of Escape from Tarkov. I remember when I was new to the game, money and making money was much harder for me. I didn't know where everything spawned. In fact, I just tried to focus on surviving in my raids and money was more of an afterthought. So when you have players like this playing Escape from Tarkov, it would be wise for them to use a cost efficient option. Uh, and the SVT is certainly that. I, I would not blame anybody for using a gun that essentially ignores armor that costs 55,000 rubles. This gun essentially allows players who may have joined late into a wipe to catch up a little bit and be competitive against other players as their tier 6 armor will not save them. On the flip side of that argument though, you could potentially have a naked Timmy armed with an SVT that costs 55,000 rubles, basically one-shotting a guy whose kit is worth over a million rubles. Tier 6 armor, all the best ammo, the best modded out weapon. Unfortunately, it won't matter if this Timmy sees you first. If you want my opinion on the SVT, I don't think it's overpowered per se. I just think most of the early game guns, but even just the recoil in general in Tarkov is just really bad. The stock M4, for example, feels like you're shooting the ceiling whenever you fire it on automatic. And I can even speak from experience on this topic as I had a trip to Las Vegas with some friends and there I went shooting for the first time. And one of the firearms I shot was the HK416. Now keep in mind, this was my first time ever shooting an assault rifle or even a firearm in the first place as I've never shot firearms before. And to my surprise, these shots were actually much more accurate than I thought they would be. And I am not a trained PMC, I am just some dude playing video games. Here is what my bullet chart looked like, I don't know if that's what you call it. And this is what happens when you burst fire like I was in the video. I even put the same angled grip on this HK than the one I had in the video, the AFG. And whenever I burst fire, I hit the roof. The current recoil system in Tarkov is bad and it's been bad for quite some time. The weapons feel like you don't have a stock whenever you shoot anything. Your barrel goes up and the back of your weapon goes down almost like it's going through you. Now, to be fair to the devs, they did say that a recoil rework is on its way and I'm just hoping that when it does eventually arrive, we have a much better system. The gunplay just doesn't feel that great unless you're using the best weapons and so I'm hoping a new recoil system is just going to revitalize Tarkov for me. In any case, what are your thoughts on the SVT? I want to know, are you finding this weapon in all your raids? Are you using it? Do you hate it? Maybe you have a whole squad running these things and you sound like the seagulls from Finding Nemo. Let me know all of those fun things in the comments below. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Peace out.